very soft and buttery. The piano is so good, very, very sensitive, lots of light and shade possible. That's the main grand piano, Yamaha CFX Concert Grand. Uh, in the menus here, loads of different pianos to choose from by the looks of it. Pop piano, a bit brighter. Tinny, that one. Good for the top end. Uh, octave pianos. One I was really taken by playing earlier on was uh, the ambient piano, and you can get carried away with this one. Just got that very gentle, very soft approach. It's not a very bitey sound. And there's that uh, reverb on there. So I'm just hitting the keys once and you can hear it bouncing back. And this just just makes you want to play.
almost fell over. Second page of pianos, uh, plenty of variations on there. Um, what else do we have? Suitcase, electric pianos. Always a good selection of these. Um, smooth time. So if you're listening with earphones, you might be able to hear the Switching from side to side of the channel. Oh, playing with earphones is lovely. So it's panning from ear to ear like this. So let's quickly uh, dive into some of the styles as well. Now, what I wanted to show, because I was having loads of fun with this earlier on, was this unison style, which sort of plays with you on previous versions of this keyboard. The style would be very one dimensionally, which the drums would play and the backing would come in. Um, but with uh, unison styles, it's a bit more responsive. So if I give it some welly while I'm playing, the, the cymbals and the drummer will react to what I'm doing. I'll show you. That's not quite the one I wanted actually, so I'm going to go on to a standard rock. It's responding to what I'm playing and putting in some drum uh, fills as well. Funk pop rock. Let's try this one. at all uh, and there's even some called adaptive unison too which uh, not only uh, respond like that and play uh, drum fills for you but will also move up the style control so variation a for those of you that don't know gives you a very simple style as you go up it gets more elaborate and different drum beats and what have you join in and instruments so let me this might be best demonstrated with a ballad so let me go to something like uh, 
70s glam. This will be Elton John style, I guess. My tripod duo. on B. So pretending I'm in the second verse of the song now. So it looks like you've got to do it to meet the first beat of the bar because that was a little slow in delay and uh, changing. And it doesn't take much to trigger it up to the next uh, variation. Finish it now. Ending button. So that's pretty good, isn't it? It allows you, uh, unlike previous versions of uh, this keyboard, to uh, put in a little bit more feeling into the performance particularly for playing live, because previously I'd have had to have done all that manually with the fingers um, while I was playing, which is a real pain. But to be able to do that while you're playing is nice, and I've enjoyed it more than I thought I would. However, it looks like the timing is needs a little bit of thought, and I'll get to that in later videos, um, as to when it will respond to your inputs on there. Okay, so let's just have a look at uh, some other sounds on here. There's plenty on here, but I want to save a bit for videos two and three. Let's have a quick flick through the different voices on here and see what they are like. Guitar to start with. Um, these are some of the nice super articulation guitars, which you can hear all the um, finger buzzes, string buzzes from uh, the frets of the guitar.
steel guitar. Not bad at all. Uh, what else do we have? Strings, always important. Concert strings. Uh, what should we play? very soft and buttery. Let's try the variation, studio strings. Strings pad, slightly more synthy version, movie strings. Um, a slower sort of response there. going on a long time here but let's have a look quick look at the synth pads on here um, I'm particularly interested in the pads actually so let's go through to I hope there's a big selection there's that slightly detuned uh, one called new atmosphere Fat saw, and there's several pages along the bottom. interesting stuff on there in the pad section but that's all for now um, part two coming up shortly make sure you subscribe leave a comment is there a section of this keyboard that you want to see me demonstrate and experiment with just let me know in the comments see you next time bye bye